Hi, and welcome to Rich Solar. And today we're here to present the new all-in-one energy storage system. The storage system comes in three separate pieces. We have the charger inverter box and two of the battery boxes. So the system is going to come with four sets of battery cable wires. There's going to be a 41 inch set, a 29 inch set, and two shorter sets. In addition to the battery cables, all the necessary equipment will be in the boxes, including the communication cables, the mounting brackets, and the necessary screws and bolts. Very nice. In this section, we're gonna go ahead and install all the cables. This is for demonstration purposes only. When you wanna install your all-in-one kit, please make sure that you have it installed properly against the wall, fully secured. As you can see, ours is not fully secured. We're just simply showing you how to install the cables. The first cable that we are installing is the short gray cable that has two white sticker labels at each end. One end will say INV for the inverter side, and the other end say BAT for the battery side. So the first part of the cable, which shows INV goes into the inverter. This goes into the BMS port. Make sure you hear the click. The other end shows the battery side. This is where you plug into the RS485 port on the top battery. So each battery comes with a battery ID switch right here. By default, it will come from the factory set at zero. In order for the communication to occur, you need to have the second battery, which is the bottom battery, set at number one. Now we are going to install the battery communication cable, which comes with the battery. You'll be able to tell that you're installing and using the correct cable by looking at the pins. There are six pins on this particular cable. So with this cable, you're gonna connect it to both of the batteries. Where you're connected is at the port where it says battery capacity extension, and it goes on the bottom port. So insert into the bottom port on the top battery, and insert to the bottom port on the bottom battery. The smallest cable that comes with the battery is this what's in my hand. This is very easy to lose, so make sure you do not misplace this cable. This cable will go into the same area labeled battery capacity extension. This will go on the top port and you simply insert it into the top battery. Now we will proceed and install the short battery cables that come with the batteries. Take the red, which is the positive side, and simply click it in to the inverter and click it in to the top battery. And now you insert the negative cable, which is the black cable. Make sure that you hear the click. And now the longest cable that comes with the kit, we have these two 41 inch wires. So you can start with the positive side Make sure you hear the click. And you bring it down to the bottom battery, top terminal. And make sure you hear the click. Same thing on the negative terminal from the inverter. Click. And another click at the bottom battery. You can now proceed and install your solar arrays in the PV1 input and the PV2 input up top. The AC output and the AC input are located right below.
So now that we have the cables installed, you can install the antenna for your Wi-Fi. Now we can turn on each battery by holding on to the on button for five seconds. Once you've powered on the batteries from the front, you can go ahead and switch the breakers on. Now that we've switched the breakers on on the batteries, you can press the power button for five seconds in order to turn on the system. You'll know that it's on when the power button turns blue. Now that you've turned on the system, we recommend changing option 29, which is the low voltage disconnect to 5%. And now your all-in-one system is ready for use.